Welcome to the 3900 Hydraulic Cantilever Lift by Hewitt Lift and Rolladoc. Lay out and inventory all of the parts and pieces for your cantilever lift. Use the shortest bolt possible at each assembly point. Slide the corner bracket over the leveling leg, then insert the leg pin and secure with the clip. Repeat this process on each one of the four corners. Place the rubber cap onto the top of the leveling leg. Repeat this on all four corners. Locate the cross arm with the three holes. This is going to be the front of the lift. Slide the corner tube into the lift arm pivot point, and then into the bottom cross arm. Line up the holes and secure with the nuts and the bolts. Repeat this process on all four corners. Now attach the bottom sides to each of the four corners. Locate the pull arms and make sure that the cylinder box is facing the front of the lift. Next, pivot the lift arms up. Insert the pull arm into the lift arm pivot point, making sure that it slides into the cross arm. Line up the holes and secure with the bolts and the nuts. Repeat this on the other side. Locate the side to side bottom brace and remove the three inch wrap from each end. This will be attached approximately a foot from the rear end of your lift. Slide the three inch wrap over the bottom side and secure with nuts and bolts. Locate the hydraulic front uprights and attach them to the front corners. Then secure them with nuts and bolts. Locate the 45 degree angle brace. Notice that the offset hole is both towards the back and facing down. Secure both the top and the bottom with nuts and bolts. Locate the front side brace and attach with nuts and bolts. Repeat this process on the other side. At Hewitt, we recommend priming the cylinders before ever installing them on the lift. For specific notes on how to bleed your hydraulic system, look at the assembly instructions. Attach the cylinder pivot plates to the front uprights. Remove the shipping caps from the hydraulic cylinders. Insert the cylinder through the front upright and sandwich the adjacent pivot plate. To secure the cylinder, use four of the five inch hard bolts. Secure the cylinder to the cylinder box using a hard bolt and lock nut. Repeat this process on the other side. For those of you that did not bleed your system, at this point, go ahead and attach the cylinder hoses. Attach the cylinder hoses to the adjacent cylinder. Please note that the hydraulic fittings need to be facing down. Connect the two hydraulic hoses to the pump and tighten. Center the keel board onto the top of the cross arm. To secure the keel board, use the four carriage bolts, four nuts, and two keel plates. Attach two cradle side plates to the top cross arm. Attach the cradle block to the two side cradle plates. Make sure that the single hole is facing towards the top. Lay the bunks across the lift and measure six inches from the back of the lift. Drill a hole and secure with a carriage bolt and nut. Make sure when tightening to sink the head of the carriage bolt into the carpet. Apply the grip tape to the top of the pull arm. Now, simply place the Hewitt sticker on the outside of your lift. At this point, go ahead and tighten down all the nuts, bolts, and hose fittings. This completes the assembly of the 3,900 pound hydraulic cantilever lift.